Hey guys, I genuinely think I found my purpose. Like no shit, like no joke. I genuinely think I found my purpose. My purpose always was to be a biomechanical engineer, entrepreneur. Right? I wanted to make money with this, with this shit, not just be like a little geek at a zoo and work at some company, biomechanical engineer. No, 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 no. I wanted to make money out of this. I saw this idea, I've seen my idea for the dawn of time as such a beautiful, perfect idea in which it has such unlimited untapped potential and no one can kind of replicate it and I can I feel like I could look on chat BGBT I'm making this video because like an idea has, is worthless until you actually execute it if you somehow make biomechanical engineering if you make what I'm thinking biomechanical engineering true which is a thing robotic limbs with the same sex with a like a fully operational synthetic muscle I mean, the I think the base would be something not like aluminum. That's fucking shitty. Like titanium build, uh, synthetic muscle. So basically, you would replicate muscle, like or the way muscle is created, with titanium. So, uh, that's that's not, that's fucking not cheap. That's not cheap at all. <laughs> or you could do aluminum piping. You know, with my small ass brain at the moment, I don't think you can. We could, but it would be fucking fragile shit. Anyways, I asked the chat GBT, which is really, like, kind of, you know, how do I say this? Reinvigorated the desire to learn in me. It's an intense desire. It's an intense desire. It isn't, like, just motivation. It's, it's an intense desire. Right, what is it like if you have AI having fully operational humanoid synthetic muscle tissue in bodies, like in a movie where I, AI rebel... Rebels with Will Smith. I want to learn how to do this for myself when you am asking. It's a fucking geek ass question, but sure. Creating fully operational human humanoid synthetic muscle tissue bodies like the robot in the movie iRobot is currently not feasible with our current technology. True. While advancements in robotics and artificial intelligence have come a long way in recent years, creating a synthetic muscle tissue that can match the dexterity and strength of human muscles is a complex and challenging task, but possible. Highly improbable, guys, but possible. If you can do it, yeah, before me, fucking do it. I'll be the guy looking up to you. I always wanted to make money like this, and I've and I've this is idea of making money has been molested in the sense that I won't, I haven't been true to what I truly want. And you could be like, why? So why didn't you learn science in school? And this isn't and that and that. Learning science in school is possible in the most boring, bullshit, mundane tasks ever. What I'd rather do is work a job, save up money, work on a business, be an entrepreneur, make a bunch of money, and then. Well, like, oh yeah, then you can just oh yeah, relax life. Oh, party, party, no, no, no. That's next step in this shit. Make more money with the biomechanical engineering business, the business that I really wanted to do, the business for the foundational business that puts the money in the bank account every single fucking month. Or you could do a liquidation event and sell the business, which is also viable because no business, like people would say that, oh yeah, but you sell the business, it's just temporary. True, it is temporary. However, you have to remember the fact that it depends on what business you are selling. If you're selling some little shop, like a butcher shop, that sells meat and it makes a thousand, two thousand a month, three thousand, four thousand, maybe even five thousand a month, in total income and like three k profit. Do you want to? That's a temporary solution. No, you're not going to be absurdly rich after selling. Let's say you someone that actually high balls sells it, buys it from you. This is very rare, by the way. So you make sixty grand a year, right? Income. Make sixty grand a year. Times eight, so they pay for eight years. Four hundred eighty grand. Who's gonna pay four hundred eighty grand for a cup for a business that earns five grand a month? A butcher shop. And it's that's and if you get five hundred k from um, a business making five k a month. Insane, well done. Almost pay for that shit. It can be like 200k, 300k at, mo at most. At most. And even that is a pretty much out of touch of reality moment. People would buy the business book for 100k, 200k, 150. And that's still at most. Uh, who, who would buy, no one would buy the business like that. Okay? But if you're, you have a tech company producing hundreds of thousands to millions a month and it has a trajectory to produce even more. Growth potential, stock stock growth potential, and company public, etc., etc. 
you could sell that company privately for a lot of fucking money. Exit comfortably. Okay, guys, it depends on the, the volume of the The life is not yin and yang, and no rules are ab no rules are absolute in life, right? And don't take the advice to like go out there and fucking <laughs> go fucking street naked in public. Okay, that's not good, guys. But Kyle, well, readers, engineers, continue to make progress in the area, and it's possible in the future we may see thalamic robots that could more closely mimic human movement abilities. Nevertheless, it's important to keep in mind that such a advancement will likely take time, effort, and significant investment in research and development, and money. Money. <laughs> money, money, but this is my purpose. But honestly, this is my purpose. You can laugh at it all you want. Aha, you, you're a teenager. Fuck, you know. Laugh at all you want, please. Keep up. When I'm born, I'm making my dream come true. And I'm rich as fuck. I'm strong as fuck. I still like. I still want to be strong. I still want to learn martial arts. I still want to do business this way, but. There is no doubt in my mind that this is my purpose. For the longest time ever, I want to do this shit. I do like rockets as well, but I do not, and I do like the idea of outer space, but I don't like it as much as I like this. Boss Dynamics does it very, very well, and they've come a very long way, but it still is kind of shitty. Like, no offense. Boss Dynamics, amazing work. Like, the like of me producing something similar in, in the next. No, in the next year is possible. Within the next five, ten years, I, entirely possible. Because you've already done it, I could do it as well. I'm pretty sure they go, they go public with their code. I take a fuck ton of money. <laughs> so it's all about money, is she? <laughs> so, it's, it's, okay. If you're interested in pursuing a career in robotics as villagers, there are many avenues you can explore, including computer science, mechanical engineering, electronic engineering, and material science, among others. But it's not about engineering your fields, can help you gain the skills and knowledge necessary to compete with. You need to learn all of that shit by yourself. I don't want to be like a fitness model. Says oh, bro. Okay, no disrespect. That shit is 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 a G. Do 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 do. You get bored of that shit. I can't lie. I mean. Unless you, you love that looking yourself in the mirror all the time, which I can't lie, if you do gain significant amounts of muscle, you do see like, no, oh, fuck, it's sick. You're like, okay, my muscles are small right now. It is too long, 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 long. Curtains are down. Okay, guys. But that's not what I wanted. I don't want to be fighting as a career. Like, I'm going to ask ChatGBT if fighting is a good career. No, you don't need to ask them. I think it's a bad career. Most fighters, there's so much hard work involved. There's so much blood, sweat, and tears involved. And there's so little money involved. You might get paid 10 grand a fight, 20 grand a fight, 50 grand a fight even. You make one or two fights a year, 100 grand. If you get 10 grand a fight and then you get two fights a year, it's 20 grand. You'll be you're literally working for minimum wage. Minimum wage and you tra all that training, blood, sweat, and tears, punching. It's just, it's not the best career. I only want to redo really it at the amateur level and then somewhat the professional level. I do not see myself as a world champion. I was in the shower before and training before, imagining myself with belts and shit. And I really imagine myself, envision myself with success and shit. I envisioned all the hard work required to, in order to achieve it. But then again, like it didn't. In all honesty, 
that is a fucking amazing to, to achieve world champion status with all the belts and everything a, even interim belts or amateur belt or national belts WCC national belts or like you know, there's, there's a bunch of fucking belts alright even achieving those was quite impressive in my eyes however it didn't bring me the happiness that I thought it would even I, I played out this dream like it was a, like a real thing I, I, I fell I, not fell in love but I fell into this delusion heavily but it, and it didn't make me happy as I thought it would be it just, when I seen you, I went to my gym after making it big as a fighter. <laughs> after making it big as a fighter, and what I saw in my dream was a very likely outcome. I just asked ChatGPT, I'll go, go through that as well, if fights could create a choice. But the way I saw my dream was, and you might be like, oh, you'll never reach anyway. Okay, thanks, thanks, random commentator, dude. <laughs> imagine, imagine you, you could, you had an immense talent in boxing, you just hadn't realized it. Anyways, what happened here was, I reached my dream. I got all four belts: WBA, IBF, um, WBO, WBC belts, and then a Ring Magazine belt and another WB, not WB, W something, WBI. I don't know some stupid shit. Um, all the belts, right? All the alphabet belts in the ring magazine, and then I was in my gym, a local gym. So I, I was training at my other gym now, which is much more posh. I still remember it in my, my brain. I played it in my my brain heavily. It was the Anthony Joshua gym before in the UK. It was very very upstate posh. And then I went to my old gym before, and I got very mixed perception when bringing all the belts, trying to show off and trying to like inspire the youth. The only thing I really got was jealousy, contempt, envy, kind of hatred. There were some people that were like, whoa, you really made it, wow, da, 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 da. congratulating me and everything, genuinely congratulating me, but th those were a dime a dozen. Like, I played this dream out heavily, guys. Like, there was more negatives than there were benefits. It was very weird. At that weird level of success, people get immensely envious, immensely jealous, immensely hateful. One of this guy I knew, I call him, let's call him Joe. Joe is quite the... Not necessarily avaricious. I don't know if avaricious is the right word. Is avaricious the right word? Avaricious meaning horribly wicked. Uh, how do I know? how do I spell avaricious? Ava avaricious. Okay, here we go. Having extreme grief for wealth, material gain. No, I wouldn't say he's extreme, but he is probably quite a greedy. Driven young man, right? He's quite muscular, quite older than me as well. And then, like, I was training, I was sparring, and he immediately like got up to me and like, he's in your face type person, like that type of guy. And then he told me, he was like, he was like hey, "Yo, can we spar right now?" He wanted to test himself, right, against the world champion, the best in the world. I was like, "Sure." I was still the same version of myself, even with after unchanged after the world belts. Which is highly unlikely in what I do it because then my ego will get ahead of me, honestly. Honestly, like that. I kind of win them in two minds. I could pursue the fighting, which I like the fitness and I feel wrong without training, but I also feel weird if I pursue a professional career and, and I'm in martial arts tournaments. It's very, very weird, but let me continue my dream segment and I'll go on, on this chat to that BT and I'll end the video. Get final message, final verdict, final purpose, and then I end the video. Basically, what happened was like he, he we were about to spawn, and then I took off my all my gear, wore my gear, all my shoes, wore my all my gloves, wore my all my wrap, wore my wrap, all my gloves, wore my shoes, all my shirt, everything. Quite detailed. How do I do this? Lu not lucid, but a vivid dream, incredibly vivid. And then he took my belts, he wore them. He was like, I'm gonna have them one day. Like it was kind of ego, and he looked at me in a very, very avaricious way. You feel the contempt he felt. It was a bit younger than me and he felt immense contempt. He felt like he deserved it himself. He felt like it should have been his, not mine. It should have been me, not him. <laughs> and what happened here was... What happened here was, it was quite weird. Um, thereafter, he kind of just... We spotted and I whooped his ass, obviously. Because like, the whole time I whooped his ass, like a fucking... Look, my jab looks sharp on points. 
on its face, couldn't even react to it. He blocked the fucking shots with his head. And then my right hand, I could develop it all the time. I felt comfortable. I felt very, 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 very clean. Very, very clean. My punches were clean and nice. Chris was quite proud of me as well, my coach. And what I felt from that was immense jealousy, immense anger that like I felt. He was trying to, like, he was trying to go really hard with it. And I was just chilling. Bang, bang, the wings, dodging, slipping. Don't care. Don't care. And he's really trying to, wow, oh, haymaker, my ass, haymaker. Trying to haymaker my ass, and it, I could really, really see it. Um, uh, and it was just very, very weird to me. And yeah, he, he tried to grab my belt after as well, and I just looked at him with a weird look, and I like, put that shit down, bro. Like he was, he was clinging to my belt. You know what I mean? He was clinging to it because that to him, he dedicated his entire life to boxing. That to him was the idea of success and the, the grandeur is grandeur and he kind of just got immensely jealous, lost in the greed and I see him, him doing it, he's not a particularly humble character as well, Joe. This is very very weird and to me I thought it wasn't worth it. It wasn't, it wasn't worth it at all the way we approached or and I couldn't really face him afterwards. I think our friendship just span it's so weird, like a dream played out like that. It was very vivid as well. And we're gonna go out to ChatGBT and the fighter. Deciding I mean a challenge is considered but in a sense consider all factors involved. Here's a plenty of pros and cons between the career fighting pro is physical fitness dub. The career fighter can have you stay excellent physical shape and blah 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 Discipline and focus, fighting grades are dope, grading on discipline and focus, but can be tracked value because of blah 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 potential for financial success if you become a sense of fighter you may be able to earn a significant amount of money. May. For risk of injury, fighting is a dangerous sport and there's always a risk of injury which could have a long term consequences for your health and well being. Limited career span, many fighters have limited career span due to physical battle sport. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna pursue a career in fighting. I don't care if I have world champion potential. Unless I literally have world champion potential. I have a bad eyesight, bro. I could not have world champion potential. I, I, it's difficult for me to even see. I can't pursue it. I'm going to pursue a career in entrepreneurship and business thereafter, but I still want to get into phenomenal shape because getting into shape really helps you with your, your mindset. AI yeah, is very, very attractive. I will perhaps go professional. I told my guy in the gym before, yeah, I'm not professional, yeah, I'm professional. No chance, bro. No chance. I do want to go professional, and I do want to start training properly, and etc. and stuff, etc. etc. Et no, I do train properly, but I train very hard as well. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll ask about this guy on my channel, the Tonon Cut. Thank you for the information. Let me know, Tonon Cut YouTuber. I'm um, unknown, cool. Tonon Cut is a YouTube channel that appears focused on commentary and reaction videos. What the fuck, dude? Are you watching? Are you watching? I mean, if you're watching, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's quite weird. But anyway, back to my purpose. I think my purpose is effectively in line with AI, technology, and entrepreneurship. Fit, fitness obviously as well, fitness model, if I money out of that, I will. But, like Mike Thurston showed before, it isn't what it seems to be. You know, do what you love is often bad advice. I'm doing it all for the money. And for the, and after I get the money, and I get the fulfillment from the goals, like, for money, money, one thing, but then the money can fuel my fulfillment from the goals, which then leads to more money. I'm doing the AI shit for money, but also the fact that there's an immense fulfillment when I'm getting like from what I knew I knew I knew from the get go I'm not a stupid guy right I'm doing it for the money like a smart person. What's my highlight, man? Goofy. Doing some some shit. My habit tracker. Um, I'm doing it for the money, like of course. I'm not, I'm not an idiot, guys. I, I do need to pay the bills. I need, I need to put food on the table. However, at some point after you make a bunch of money, like 
the fuck does it mean? It's just the number on back, back screen. It doesn't matter. Like, when you complete the video game. We can you just try the experience and shit like that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh god, this is quite weird. Are you watching me? You're fucking weird. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. How am I? How am I gonna change the world with AI, bro? AI technology and shit, man. It's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. Try to cut it. And I, I cannot yes YouTube directly and use information. So I'm trying to like tell you, generally, I'm is a YouTube channel that appears to be focused on a commentary and reaction videos. It talks about the requests created behind the channel. Maybe we have a particular focus or style without further details or examples of the work. I cannot provide more specific information. If you have a specific question on the topic related to the channel, feel free to, to what is he or she talking about? As I mentioned, on the channel cut is a YouTube channel that appears to primarily focus on commentary and reaction videos. Where is Chris? Let's go to the variety of topics. Clear pop culture. The current events. I'm watching you, Chappie GBT. You're watching me too. <laughs> like, with you, thank you, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Okay, I'm gonna shut up, bro. However, pop culture, current events, music, and entertainment. Is that about music? 21 minute video, bro. Well, the only thing that the content on the channel maybe is created by an individual, their perspective, opinions, and style may differ from other content creators or news outlets covering the same topics. If you're interested in the same learning about the same topic, is there a guy or girl? I apologize for not being clear by previous responses. Based on my research, Channel Cut is a YouTube channel created by a male content creator. Because the name Channel Cut. He wants me alone. What? What if he identifies identif as a female? <laughs> I don't identify as a female. This is weird. I don't like putting my content out in the public, bro. It's weird. I'm talking about this is funny. I said, do you think China, China is smart or stupid? I'm genuinely trying to gauge my intelligence. Some, on one aspect, someone calls me an idiot. On another aspect, someone calls me smart. I can't tell if I am smart or stupid. If anything, it's a combination of both. Because you're human, right? The, the truth is always somewhere in the middle. Uh, Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this so far. You want to see my? St this is my habit tracker. This is before. I'm already doing better on my NoFap journey, my creative journey, my studying journey. My studying is really suffering. This is really bad. Commentary channel as well. How the fuck? Get out of here, chat you see, bro. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Why is chat so clutch, though? Catch you guys in the next video. That's my purpose.
I don't know, fighting, I might, I might do a bunch of YouTube boxing fights, I'm not entirely sure. It's quite, I, I said before, yeah, I really want to do YouTube boxing fight for money, but I'm not really sure about that. I'm having second thoughts. Yeah, next one. How long is the video?